So in Western Central Africa, we are not very well known here. We actually want uh, the operators here to know who we are and uh, the kind of sub fiber that we supply. Uh, and also, we are actually trying to educate operators to understand uh, fiber optics and what is required in uh, deploying networks. Now, quite a number of uh, challenges. Uh, one of them is that uh, sometimes the networks that they deploy are not good enough. Uh, they don't have the right kind of equipment and it leads to network failure. And secondly, there's an issue of uh, theft. There's a lot of people who steal cable because they think it's a copper cable and in the end they spend a lot of money repairing uh, these uh, damages. So we have uh, made a number of uh, proposals to some of the operators. One of them is uh, in some cases to actually deploy uh, cable overhead on power lines where the chances of it being stolen are much lower. So there is uh, a lot of uh, mobile uh, penetration, a lot of companies are doing mobile networks and in the long run these uh, mobile networks need to use fiber optics in the backbone and that is really a market opportunity for us. So when they do their networks, they have to make sure that uh, they have the right uh, fiber that is deployed in the network so that when people want to migrate to, to higher data rates, to, uh, 3G and 4G networks, then they have the right uh, capacity to do that. It was extremely useful because, uh, like I said, uh, Corning is not well known in the region and we've been able to meet a lot of operators here, so it's a very great opportunity uh, to meet people that we don't know. It's very, very important because they tend to meet a lot of uh, vendors here, and they tend to actually meet uh, other operators and they share experiences, and uh, wherever people have faced some challenges, other people will learn about them and be sure not to repeat the same mistakes.